Welcome to another edition of In My Opinion Sports with Pedro Justice. They just announced that Lane Kiffin will not be coaching the Alabama Crimson Tide as the offensive coordinator in the national championship game. What are your thoughts about that? Something had to happen behind the scenes. Maybe the play calling early on when it was getting a little too cute when we were having the running game was going well early and then we kind of got away from it. And then the second half, as usual, we'll get back to it. That may have played a part that he it was a little too close for comfort for Nick Saban. I don't think that he wanted the game to be as close. I think he didn't want his defense to have to get back on the field so quickly. And with all of the commitments that Lane Kiffin has to the Florida Atlantic program, I think he just wanted to let's just move on. I know that Steve Sarkeesian is similar enough and he'll actually listen to me a lot sooner than Lane Kiffin will, and he will run that ball when it needs to be ran, and then he knows enough trick plays, he knows enough of Lane Kiffin, they're very similar enough to where he can keep them off balance. If that all plays out, then this will be a genius move, it'll be a perfect opportunity for Alabama to say, we are a team, and we can win this game. Thank you, Lane, for bringing us this far, but we're going to go ahead and finish it off. Now, I feel Lane Kiffin should still get credit because because of his offense, we're here in the first place. With the defense, obviously, the defense gets a lot of credit. My credit for Lane Kiffin really is he knows how to handle young players. And I think that's underrated. That's really my biggest thing is that I think he knows how to handle undeveloped talent. Blake Sims was a running back. He made him into a quarterback. Jake Coker was a wild man. He made him into a quarterback. Jalen Hurts, freshman, he's made him into a great quarterback. So I feel that Lane Kiffin should get a lot of this credit, whether he's there or not. Now, I'm hoping that Steve Sarkeesian can go ahead and lead us on to another title. With Nick Saban still being there, the defense is ready to go. I just feel that Nick Saban wants the defense to be more rested so that Clemson doesn't get any chances. And that's what I think about that. Let me know what you feel. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice. Yeah.